conspiracy theories about chemtrails. But while governments recognize the climate challenges posed by contrails, there has been little political action to date, Johnson says. The climate targets set for the sector by industry, countries and the United Nations all relate to CO2 emissions only. The debate around scientific uncertainty and appropriate measurements is often cited as a reason to focus on more research rather than action. Despite the complications, the heating and cooling effects of contrails are established science. However, these spidery lines hovering above us in the sky have also inspired a theory largely unsupported by science. That they are traces of toxic chemicals maliciously sprayed into the atmosphere by tens of thousands of commercial aircraft. People who believe in the chemtrails conspiracy believe that the contrails are being sprayed intentionally for bad purposes, says Amy Bruckman. A social informatics researcher at the Georgia Institute of Technology who last year co-authored a paper examining how chemtrails conspiracists came to this belief. They have different views on what those purposes are. Some believe it is population control or mind control. Opening square bracket dot 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 closing square bracket. Some people believe that their health problems are caused by the spraying. Airplane trails are reflected on a building as they cross the morning sky above Pennsylvania Avenue in Washington. Photo. App, Carolyn Castor The Chemtrails Conspiracy is a surprisingly widespread belief. A 2016 poll found that 10% of Americans believe the chemtrails conspiracy is absolutely true, while an additional 20-30% to believe it is somewhat true. This belief was not divided along party lines. And unlike some other conspiracy theories, chemtrails seem to be believed equally by men and women, says Bruckman. It is often associated with the concern that governments or corporations are implementing covert, large-scale weather modification. About 61% of English-language social media posts about geoengineering between 2008 and 2017 were linked to the chemtrails conspiracy. Proponents of solar geoengineering have complained that the chemtrails conspiracy is so vast that it has prevented real public consultation on solar geoengineering. The chemtrails conspiracy theory began in the 1990s, but had an outburst in the early 2000s as it spread online. Suddenly in 2001 a lot of people were talking about chemtrails. It was a sudden appearance, says Schumann. He notes that the chemtrails conspiracy is completely absurd, his institute measures emissions from behind aircraft and has found no man-made chemical species. They're all things you could easily tell from burning kerosene. There is absolutely no evidence that chemtrails exist. However, this evidence is routinely dismissed by conspiracy theorists. A Schumann colleague who mentioned his work to a chemtrail believer was immediately told that Schumann is a fictional scientist who doesn't exist, he says. It's not hard to see why for more than a century now, people have wondered about the effect of these fine, man-made lines in the sky. The real need now, however, is to focus on better understanding and taking action on their climate impacts.